sir. Surprise, Donovan? Can't deny that, sir. I can't sail a ship without a crew, can I? <laughs> Whatever your reason, thank you, Captain. We were sure we'd be doing the gallows dance. You'll be standing at the ready instead. I need to take care of two more things here. Then we set sail. I told Avery I wouldn't stay here a day longer than I needed to. And I always keep my word. Sir, if this Avery was responsible for all this, I'd like to come along and give him a bashing myself. Understood, sir. Don't worry, Donovan. I'm going to deal with Avery right now. I need you readying the ship. Understood, sir. We're ready, Chris. Good. As someone once told me, let's slip the dogs of war. Dogs? Never mind. Let's move it, Marcus.
Bonne journée. Chris! God! Don't let me burn! <laughs> I think I like you right where you're at. It was all Neville's doing. My hands were tied. I... I'm a patriarch now. I can give you anything you want. <laughs> oh, really? Anything? For God's sake, man! Just name it! <sighs> I want to hear you scream. God damn you, wait! Uh, uh, at least kill me. Don't let me die like this. Chris! Christopher! Here. Do it yourself, Patriarch. There's enough gunpowder for one shot. <laughs> but gunpowder by itself isn't enough. No, no, wait! There's that scream I was looking for. What a way to go. First time I didn't see him pray. Men show their true faces when death approaches. Now it's Kensington's turn. My people were excited when I told them. They'd accepted that they would have to wait to see his death. This was a good surprise. The day's been full of surprises.
This came sooner than you said. Not soon enough. about money. Oh, I can double what Avery's paying you. I'm afraid you don't understand, Kensington. Oh, I understand all right. You're Avery's new dog. He finally get tired of that freak Ray. Ray's dead. So's Avery. But if you're not, never. Listen to me. Never won't tolerate loose ends. Whatever he's promised you, he'll never deliver. If you kill me, you're only ensuring that you die next. No. Neville dies after you. I... I don't understand. I don't need you to. Wait. I can give you Neville. I'll know where he's going. Why would Neville tell you where he's going? He just ruined you. You think oh, I'm foolish enough to trust Neville? I've had my men following him for weeks. He's going after the pirate hunter, Santorio. Santorio? Why would Neville bother with him? That self-righteous Santorio's taking down so many lesser pirates. It's affecting Neville's larger operations. As Santorio's made Neville look weak almost by accident. Neville can't allow Santorio to live. No one who crosses Neville survives. No one. Are you considering your own mistakes, Kensington? Old sins? Everyone pays for their crimes, Kensington. Not just your old captain. Wait a moment. This has nothing to do with Avery, does it? You. Your hand. I... I... Look, mate. If I did something to you, it was a long time ago. Please! Now, whatever I'll do to you, I don't even remember! I know. Please, wait. You... You don't have to do this. Look around you, damn it. Everything I had, it's all gone. Neville has ruined me. My men have fled. Even my bodyguard got to. Got to! Got to! Too bad, Kensington. I was gonna let you die with dignity. Which is more than you afforded my family. How did he die? Badly. Good. I'm leaving now. I've done all I needed to do. Where's Marcus? Hurt in the fight. Bad. My people are taking care of him. What do you mean, where is he? Don't worry, Christopher. Marcus is an old bastard. But he's tough now. He should not die. We took him back home. Yours? No, his place. He insisted. Leaking like a boat full of holes, and he insists on traveling? Damn it, Marcus.
Problem? No, sir, whatever Mickey don't uh, ain't got nothing to do with me. Hey, it is not shit, Chris. It's gold. I need it. It's a real thing. I know it's packed with Satlock warriors. You sending me to get eaten? I swear to God, Chris, this is real. Red Jack swears it's real. He's a bastard, but he never lies. Why didn't you go for it, you little worm? On my own? I, I ain't even got a ship, man. And I don't know what that shit means. It's written in some kind of code. I can't understand this crap, but you, you're a smart man, Captain Raven. You'll figure it out. Please, just take it and leave me be. So long, Mickey. If this is fake, you'll be seeing me in my hook soon. Count on it. Christopher, thank you for coming. <laughs> Why so solemn, old man? Solemn? You expect me to get up and dance every time I'm happy? <laughs> uh, how's the arm? Uh, it's mending. I must be getting old, letting a pack of amateurs get the best of me like that. But a little rum, and I'll be right as rain in no time. Here, let me help you with that. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Come see me in St. Lucia? I need to show you something? Bit cryptic, don't you think? You know, your message actually gave me a funny chill. Reminded me of something I saw on that island. Well, I didn't really see it, I guess. Ah, uh, never mind. It's nothing. No. Tell me. It's ridiculous. I was hallucinating, having some kind of fever dream. In the dream, you were there, and you said you had something to show me. A surprise. I followed you, but you led me into a trap. Right to a damn dragon. I thought it had me, but I killed it in the end. Anyway, like I said, I was in a fever, seeing all kinds of things. I shouldn't even brought it up. <laughs> Unless you're hiding a dragon in that box. No. No dragon. But I do have something for you. I've tried to do this a hundred times over the years, but it was never the right time. At least that's what I kept telling myself. I've always thought of you as my own son, Chris. I want you to know that I've always tried to protect you. I... I... This is for you. It was your father's. My father's? 
Why didn't you give this to me years ago? Wait a minute. What's going on here? What aren't you telling me? Huh? Tell me! Christopher. The day your family was killed, I... I... Christopher. The day your family was killed, I... Didn't just happen to find you. The Maroons have always done whatever it takes to survive. And we do most anything that pays hard coin. The day your family was killed, a man came to us, offering good money to find your father's house. So one of our scouts led him there. The man was Neville. The scout was me. I came back after they had gone. I found you there, bleeding, your hand gone, the raven already there, watching you, almost as if he was guarding you from me. You led Neville to my family? To my father? This whole time, my whole life, and you never told I'm me? Sorry. Sorry? You're sorry? Christopher, I've tried to make up for what I've done. I've tried to raise you like my own son. Now, you know everything. There are no more secrets. I see what's in your eyes, Christopher. And I, 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 I accept it. Please, though, try to understand. One day, please try and forgive me. should have kept us from me, Marcus. But you didn't kill them. It was Neville. Christopher, I... But you still fed us, Tom. I know, Christopher. Every time I look at you, I think about what I've done. I kept this box from you. Because I feared you'd be consumed by revenge. I feared the contents would lead you down a dark path. But it didn't matter. I failed. This box is yours now. I hope someday you can forgive me, Chris. Thanks.
Guess you need your... Not to worry. I too. Devil himself, coward men! Oh, hey, hey, sir. Hire you shits! Right, right. Come on, men! You're not cowards, are you? Aye, aye, Captain! Bloody sods. 
There's fight in you yet! Yes, sir! Bloody hell. A fine crew you make. Yes, yes sir! Aye, 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 Captain! Blast it skyward! Right aye, away, Captain! Show a belly aching, you dartless bricks! Right. Run a plenty for you brave souls once we're ashore. Right. Make men of the sea out of you yet!